Hey, this is Esplin227, and I'm responding to uh, Bionic Dance's video, Where's My Spaceship? Bionic Dance. The answer should be obvious. Look at Space Odyssey 2001 and Space Odyssey 2010. Here's a startling fact. Besides the obvious science fiction elements and the advanced AI of how nothing in that movie was beyond the level of technology we had at the time the movie was made um even the space station uh, Michio Kaku and um, Neil deGrasse Tyson say it was spinning three times faster than it needed to be we only need the technology to make it spin one-third as fast to make artificial gravity in space. Um, there are so many movies where we actually do have the technology to make these things. But where are the spaceships? Where are the jetpacks? Uh, well, we do have jetpacks, incidentally, but they are rare. Um, where are the flying cars? the same place as the SSC, the Superconducting Super Collider. The fact is, is money is the reason we don't have those things. When people made these predictions, when people predicted that we would have flying cars and that we would have a Jetsons future, you gotta realize the economy was at the best state it has ever been in any nation in in history if any nation was doing better had a pull as much as the US had had the amount of financial power the US had um, and that's just without our borrowing power the ability to borrow from other countries this is before that when we had a surplus uh, when these predictions were made remember this was after the depression this was in the big boom we were the most powerful nation economically not only that existed but that had ever existed in the history of mankind that we know of that we have details of their economy because of that when futurists were making predictions about where our technology would be they did not take one thing into account money Money and manpower are the things they did not take into account. The manpower was infinite because you had a vast amount of money to give to many people. The only way we can do those things now is if the whole world got together and decided they wanted spaceships and jetpacks and transportation tubes and that they would do it for free that they would spend their lives working for free um, otherwise we just don't have the resources we just don't have the money all these things are possible all this technology I mean with the exception of some Star Trek things like transportation or transporting sorry transportation yeah we can't move from point A to point B no transport Porting, um, light speed, we haven't figured that out yet. We may never, it might not be possible. The point is, that's where your jetpacks and your spaceships are. They're in the pocketbook, the empty pocketbook. There simply isn't enough money. The superconducting super collider would have been the largest super collider ever created something like twice the size of the large hadron collider um, it would have been one of the most impressive scientific projects ever undertaken with the exception of the Mir space station one small group of people was able to cancel the entire project including scrapping all the money and time that was spent on it one group of people, a relatively small group of people, said, eh, too expensive. Yeah, I know we we might be able to figure out amazing things about the universe and that might boost our technology 
tenfold. But eh, I don't want to be blamed if it doesn't work and they pulled the plug. If we can't even build a big ass super collider, what makes you think we can build a big ass space station? If we don't have the money to build a thing that smashes particles into each other, what makes you think we have the money to replace 50% of the cars on the road with 50% of flying cars? Um, why do you think that's possible? Because I don't think it is. I think money is going to be the limiting factor where technology used to be. I think for at least the next... Uh, I'm not going to make a prediction. But whereas technology was our limit before, and because of Moore's Law, it isn't. Economics will be our new limit until we realize that some things need to be capital capitalist, like entertainment, and other businesses, you know, and some things need to be socialized, um, science, of course, the police force, the fire department, health care, yeah, for all you freaking Republicans out there, yes, it obviously needs to be socialized, I don't know why I'm getting into that, but basically, that's where your um, that's where your spaceships are. They're the same place that the superconducting super collider is. Um, in a file, in a filing cabinet, in a uh, Republican's um, filing cabinet, labeled too expensive, canceled. Alright, until my next video, try to make the world a better place, and I will too.